Hello everybody, it is Red Panda Squad here today, and we are going to be playing a new game called Okay, so this is not gonna appear, I'm gonna say Earthlock. Yeah, give me a second, let me fix the can the tripod stance real quickly. Alright, there we go. It should look a bit better in uh, the recording now. So again, this is a new game called Earthlock. Pretty much like all the other games we've been playing on the channel, again, an RPG. And I will try to do a few other games on the channel. Um, I'm thinking of doing this one game uh, next time I record. Or not next time. Next, next time I record. It's a horror game. The ruins of the past, shrouded in mystery. Legends claim men bowed in fear and awe of a mystical civilization that ruled across the Umbria. Godlike harsh rulers who harness Armia, the magical energy stored in the bonds. There was an uprising in the midst of war, Umbria shook the the Amir core burst spilling across the lands. Would you let me read? Volcanoes erupted. Tsunamis rose. And when the sea claimed, the mystic race was but a memory. In its remains, flowers and beasts were tamed by Arya. Men and others struggled on. Soon, new civilizations grew. Now, Umbria is calm. In the north, the Sylvian Empire rules. Sylvian. But dark, dark whispers dwell within years old. Now, to me, that sounds kind of quiet. Earthlock. Oh, what the hell? Why are a few of the NPCs bugging out? Loot. Search dungeons to find chests as they contain crafting material, materials, ammo, talents, And, okay, so we're going to the prologue. Sylvian House of the Great Wave. Rise and shine, Taika. Just, just as one more class. Then it's the first cadet fight mission. Oh, we have a... Dog? Two helium bombs, five lands. Wish you were here, Mom, but be here to welcome me back after my first scouting mission. Empty again? Eh. Why can't you storm dogs have, like, regular dog appetite? Or is it just you? You just love food too much, don't you, Takai? Or Taki? I got my slinger and power glove ready. Bring on the exam. Oh, we're already level 5? And why are we missing part of our HP? A fire trap. A melee attack that inflicts physical piercing damage and fire trap inflicts magical fire damage when the target performs a melee ability. Damage types... I don't know what any of those are. I guess... The fire, the orange symbol is the fire symbol, and that little sword, or the arrow one, is Pierce. Thunderfist, a melee attack that inflicts both physical crushing and electro damage. Fire trap drop, a multi-target range attack that inflicts physical piercing damage, and fire trap inflicts magical fire damage when to perform a melee ability. 
Wow, I'm just for level 5. Our stats are pretty high. You see our attack is 50. And we have evasion. Ooh. Do we go this way? No. Do we go this way? I guess we talk to you. Welcome to your final combat exam, Miss Lavender. Oh, that's a girl? How the hell can you tell? Are you nervous? Why would I be nervous, instructor? If the general's daughter failed her exam, it'd be a little embarrassing, no? Gee, thanks for bringing that up, instructor. Let's get to it. Sorry, Storm Dog. You're gonna have to sit this one out. Okay, ready when you are. Oh, I guess this is how the combat gun mode well, is gonna work. Welcome to final combat training. I've. What? We will start with combat abilities. Combat abilities allow you to select from a list of abilities and your current stance. Using abilities in your scout stance costs both Amari and one turn. Select combat abilities and attack the target. That's a girl as well? Yes, ma'am. I've got a good fire and mentors. They're healthy close. Items give you access to potions. Select items and use your potions when your health gets low. Yes, ma'am. Um... Let's fire trap. Ooh, that deals a lot of damage. Take this. How is that a girl? That is clearly a boy. Great, wor great work. You'll fight a flying creature. Remember. You will have to use ranged attacks to hit it. Switch stance to access ranged abilities. Bring out whatever you got, instructor. I've. I'm trying to. I've. In this lesson, we will cover stances. Stances give you different sets of combat abilities, allowing you to choose strategies depending on enemy type. Your... Okay, give me a second. My glasses are... Fogging up. I don't know why. There we go. Your scout stance gives you access to melee abilities. Your slinger stance gives you access to range abilities. As you can see, I've... The target is now flying and cannot be hit by melee attacks. Change to the slinger stance so you can f attack the flying target. Changing stance costs one turn, allowing your enemy to attack. You can set your staring stance from the Paris menu before combat begins. But we have ammo, so we have to be careful. Finalist knife, combat engagement. Enemies will attempt to engage in combat if you get close enough to them, but will give up if you get too far away. A combat countdown timer is displayed when enemies attempt to engage in combat. It shows both the number of enemies and the remaining time before combat starts. Press B to get the first turn in battle before the timer runs out or, your, or the enemies get close and strike you. The experience you gain in, is significantly increased by fighting more and more enemies, be brave and bold. Gather and fight as many enemies as you dare. Approach the targets 
and try to engage both of them into combat. Press B to get the first turn in battle before the timer runs out. Or the enemy gets to close and strike you. On the instructor! Come on, Takai! We got this! Did I do it? First strike! Takai, at the start of your bat of your turn, you generate one Amari. Amari. But you use up Amari when you prefer combat abilities. The first ability is the way of generating one extra Amari per turn. Select you the abilities and use the rest ability if you do not have enough Amari to perform an ability. Alright, uh, let's change stance because I don't want to waste my ammo. I don't want to waste my ammo. Because they're not flying. Um, let's try Water Bomb. Oh, that hits both troops? Ooh, that's pretty good damage. How the hell does that... The Taki has 9,000... Not 9,000. 900 health! What the fuck level is that thing on? Uh, let's hit you. Six cents. Oh, I can learn about them. Fire breath. F uh, fire trap. I can take you out. Damn, I thought that would have took you down. Uh. Oh, okay. So that's how you do it. You have to use the left joystick to move around. This little thing in the... You'll probably see it moving in the bottom left of your guys' screen. I can switch to items. Resting abilities. Whoa, if you've seen CA, it says foreign death. Does that mean run away? Or suicide? Uh, whatever it means, it can't be good. Took out one, and take out the other. Oh, it's cute. Takai's level 70, or not level 70, goddamn. Level seven! The hell? Congratulations, cadets! The cl uh, this class marks the end of cadet training and the beginning of, hopefully, some long illusions, illusionist careers you can be proud of. General Lavender will now announce which pl pl plots will be set on their first scouting missions. A word of ca caution, the scout patrol is routed along the burning coast. We lost a couple of good pilots at Goblin Camp by the Zerberium Temple. This mission is no walk in the park. Thank you, Instructor Via. Listen up, cadet. Listen up. The cadets have flight clearance for the first scout mission. Punch. Judy. Sim. Ivan. Commander Ichibo will evacuate your performance, and trust me, I've listened to what he says. You'll find the fight clearance documents on your desk. That will be all. What? Are you serious? I'm in the top three of the class. You deliberately took my name off. Watch your tone, Ivory. Lavender. You are speaking to your commanding officer. If you or any other cadet isn't ready, they will remain here and train harder. You may be my daughter. You, oh wait, you being my daughter has nothing to do with my decision. It has everything. Class dismissed. Commander Ichibo, I will assume preparations are complete for my immediate departure to Enu. 
All is prepared, General. I've, I'm sorry. Punch, I'm happy you got in. You spent so much time teaching me that I crashed one of the General's best. I don't know how I made it onto the list. I do. My father never lets me do anything. He thinks I can't handle it, but I'll show him. Yeah, he's really hard on you. Take my place. You deserve it. Punch, that's... I don't deserve you. Thank you so much. Taka, Taki. I, I think it's Taka. Yeah, I think it's Taka, not Taki. Ta Taka. Let's head to the flight deck before anyone catches us. Oh god, you're planning something stupid. I just found flight clearance. Whoa, we get an actual ship to fly? Deck Commander, my flight clearance! Congrats, Miss Lavender. Always knew you'd get picked. <laughs> yeah, um... So, do you have the Mono Scout ready? All set, but where's your helmet? Oh, I left it in the other hangar. I'll be right back. Wait, or does it mean over here? I gotta say, this game is perfect. Oh, wow. Because the game has good graphics. And also, I bought this when it was on sale for only, like, I think, $5? When it was originally 30 And this game pre plays pretty well. Damn it. Why can't I... Oh, there's a meaning here. Locked. Where is my helmet? Give me a second to find out where the helmet is and I'll be right back. Found it. We have brought him in, Commander. No one saw us. Excellent, soldier. Make sure to double the guards on the cell. I've... What an umbrella are you t up to? Hasn't your father taught you that it's rude to eavesdrop? I'm just getting my helmet, Commander. Right, of course. Forget my harsh tone. Carry on, Cadet. Oh. You look ready now. Excellent, Miss Lavender. Are you ready to go on the first scout mission? Then let's get you strapped in. Meanwhile, outside the Cerberium Temple. Is that a fish? Are you okay, Uncle? Yeah, just give me a moment. You should have stayed in bed. I can handle this. Ah, nonsense. Just because I'm sick, I can't let you have all the fun. Uncle Benjo. Don't worry, I'm on. Now, we're here. The Zerberian Temple. Exciting. Isn't it nice not knowing what's next? 
Doesn't that make it for the most exciting adventures, huh? Yeah, you've told me a thousand times. Now why are we here? Ha! You've got the patience of a toddler, Amon. There's an uh, uh, undiscovered artifact in the Tiberian Temple, Lady Ibida's tip. Another one of Evita's tips. She usually has good leads. Uh, yes, she does. Let's head in. Something shady's going on. Uh, they're only level one. What are their stats? Oh. Wait, Spud Blast? Huh. Their stats are not real high. Oof. Hopefully we can... This looks like the statue in Zaber. Uh, did it just fucking move its head? I'm not- I'm not seeing shit. That little bastard just moved its head. There are more of them? Yes, yes. There are many scattered all over the world, I believe. Made by a group of nomads to show their people it was a safe place to save. Legend says they even have a secret magic property as well. Amazing. Guess we can catch our breath here for a minute before we go. Sounds like a good idea. So, we can't just save manually. Shit. That's one thing I don't like with some RPG games that are like this. You can't save manually. Because then it really takes out, if you're recording it, wherever you stop, you better hope you have a safe part. Come on, you have the thief stance and a blaster stance to get the job done. And your thief stance, you can steal items and dollar from enemies and use stab to deal piercing damage. Switch to the blaster stance to deliver powerful exploding elements and non-elemental attacks. Your blaster uses spud ammo, which can be found in the world or brought in shops. Or bought in shops. So remember to keep your ammo supplies topped up. Nothing worse than running out of spuds in the middle of battle. Have I told you about the time when... Come on, Uncle Benjo. I can't wait to get started. This treasure is not going to steal itself. Oh wait, we can use foreign death. Um, I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna have to change stances. Well, 58 damage, that's not bad. And we only took 10. And we got forty dollar. Wow, it just ticked away. Is there a way we can surprise enemies? Like try it? Nope. I was gonna try to surprise them from behind, not like you can in some games. And try to get like the, well basically like the first attack off, but they can't attack for the first turn as well. So it basically gives you turn two turns. Well I guess that's what basically pressing B does. But like you'd be able to do like extra damage for like the first hit. Oh wow. Multiple enemies X2, no one died and no one hurt. I gotta say, this game is really well made. If you ever buy this for the full price, it is definitely worth it.
And one thing to keep in mind, always have your hand on the B button. Because I'm betting money. If you ever let that counter go down to zero, they're going to get the first hit and you won't be able to get bonus experience. And another thing is that certain enemies, their timer might go, go down faster. The Burrowian Temple. I haven't seen any ground enemies yet. Oh god, that's giving me... I have a bad feeling with the statue, because I think if we take the treasure from here, that statue's going to come to life and we're going to have to fight it. Got a horn from that one. Are those ground enemies? Yeah, they are. Uh. Okay, so some guys you can't change their stance. Wait, are we gonna have to choose one side to live and one side to die? I really hope that these two, t if this this team and Ivory and Taki see each other, I hope they don't have to fight each other. Because I really don't want to have to pick. Seems like we have four characters. So they most likely have to come together. Oh, fuck. I didn't get the first strike. Oh, I do. What? You know what? You take it. Dole. Is there I can... I'm gonna let him rest. And I'm gonna do steal and get extra money. Well, I mean, we still got $72. Is it worth it to do that? No. Three fire blasts and $25 found. Ugh, the statues scare me. I have a really bad feeling that those damn things are going to come alive and attack us. And if they do, we might not be able to do much damage. This temple is beautiful, but how do we get inside? I was hoping this would do the trick. It's an old relic that belonged to your parents. I tried it long ago. I'm... Counting on you to have better luck than me. Whoa, what's it supposed to do? Manipulate Amir. Try it on that Amir uh, Paris over there. Amir Attractor. Well, before we do that, what's down this way? Oh, another one, but it's red. Ah, oh, we'll have to come back down to that.
I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. Let's us continue on. Actually, the next statue I find that lets us save. What am I doing? The next statue that I find that allows us to save. I'm going to end the video there. Sorry, guys, it's going to be real short. I sub blast two kids alive and five dollar found. So it doesn't do anything. Oh, we can turn it different colors. Okay. I think this one was red. And before we go over here and switch it to green, there's something I want to do. Did it stay? Hopefully, if it stayed red, we can activate this what uh, path passage down here. No, it went back to blue. Shit. That means in there it must have reset as well. And but what I mean by that is that it reset. All the things we just did. No, they're still all open. Then why did it reset back to blue? When it should have stayed red. I want to see if that unlocked. No, it didn't. How do I get past that door? What the hell is that? Oh! Temple Guardian? That did not do much. Yeah, he's not really doing too much damage either. Switch his stance. Yeah, because we deal more damage. Come on, damn thing's almost down. Wow, we got lots of experience. Some sort of ancient disc. What is it? Uh, no idea. Some 
some ceremonial ornament? Yeah, perhaps. Well, ex excellent. Reckon we get a nice sum for it back home and <coughs> save her. Ugh, my breath. Let's go home. Uh oh. They found it. Report to her immediately. Save her. Fighting the Temple Guardian was the best. Hopefully, this treasure will make us quite a bit. Yeah, hopefully. <coughs> You've exhausted yourself. Just <coughs> tired. I'll be okay. I'll make it a big pot of honey medicine that'll help me out. No, Uncle. You stay. You need to get your rest. I'll gather some bibs. They'll be good for your heart. Okay, thank you. Just head out of town. They're in the Northwest Plains. Oh, we can plant seeds. That's cool. Why the hell did it just lag out right there? Um, hopefully it said in one of the tutorial things like this, it said that Um, there at least one save point. What are these? Dozy bib. Well, I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to save. Oh, right there, there's one. And well, guys, with that being done, this will be the end of the video. If you guys have liked it, like, comment, subscribe, and all that, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!